Great defensive stats. Now, Wisecamp with the dunk puts Oubre on the ground. Joe Wisecamp. Yeah, we are in a league. All right. Wisecamp's got it. The, the, the city on his back. Seven seconds. Wisecamp with the layup. And one. Joe Wisecamp. This might be the best player we've seen yet in any simulation on this game. All right. All right. All right. So in this fine day, I randomized every single NBA player's overall. As you can see by Montrezl Howe being a 94, Danny Green at a 93, Chris Living in a 98 and Giannis at a 59 as you can see by this fat body number 59 in the middle of the screen I had this random number generator and I was clicking like how I am right now to give me random number and here's the teams right so Philadelphia Tyrese Maxi, Ubre. by the way I actually was recording myself doing that and I forgot to turn on my microphone so I just screw it I did it all right <laughs> Tyrese Maxi, Kelly Ubre, Joel Embiid Montrez Harold and Danny Green all lead the 76ers Embiid got lucky he only went down one overall and uh, at the bottom here you can see a shoot I don't know Mo Bamba PJ Tucker early retirement the Nas this is actually better than Giannis these days along with Bobby Portis Malik Beasley Chris Livingston and Brooke Lopez back in Nets form the Bulls got Quentin Jackson Terry Taylor and not much luck anywhere else DeMar DeRozan is still solid but aside from that everybody on this team got smoked the Cavaliers Ty Jerome 98 overall I loved how his player card and you're gonna see a few more as well it says demigod or Ty Jerome but anyone in general I didn't even know that was a thing they brought the whole 2k15 you know thing to life Ricky Rubio 95 Sam Merrill 92 Tristan Thompson 89 and Max Struess, 87. No, everybody else is just there around. Boston Celtics, Jordan Walsh is a 97. Delanto, ba Delano Banton, tall point guard self, six foot seven is a 90. And then you got a Robert Williams. Jason Tatum's back in rookie form, a 78. And Porzingis has injuries that are, have affected his overall now, I guess. Hello, Al Horford. Al Horford just traumatized from all of the uh, flinching at the rebounds. Russell Westbrook was actually the first 99. I obviously went in team order. And Russell Westbrook was the first player to land on 99. He also is a demigod. And they got Marcus Moore. Morris, bucket getter, Nation Bones Holland, bucket getter. And sadly, um, actually, crazily enough, wow, they only have like six capable rotation players. After that, you got Batum and Kawhi, 66 and 65 overall. The Grizzlies, Ja Morant, Derek Rose. Yes, Derek Rose got a 96 overall. Ja actually also got a 99 right after Westbrook did, so he got a little boost, but not too much for him. Kenny Lofton up to a 94. I actually didn't even consciously realize this happened. That's pretty cool. David Roddy, Steven Adams, all 90s. Hawks, Wesley Matthews, Ma Mohamed Guye and on Kongwu all 90 plus and obviously if like you know I'm not paying attention to no, oh well there goes Stray Young right there but if you know if players on the screen whoop de doo there you go they're obviously not good still on the team they just got demoted Jimmy Butler's a 97 still high up there then you got Drew Smith Kyle Lowry Jaime Bam is still good honestly pretty they, they fared pretty well very well actually the best player on the Hornets I swear to you I actually didn't rig this Frank Nielakina 94 overall Nick Richards Kaylee honestly even if I did rig this screw you what you gonna do fight me it's virtual you uh, uh oh what is this they also did all right but lamello got smoked to a 61 the jazz taylor and horton tucker 96 yurts in 96 taylor hendricks 95 chris dunn 93 salmonick 90 they'll be just fine javel mcgee 97 overall leading the kings and you got sabonis colby jones alex lynn kessler edwards all 90 plus harrison barnes at the 88 duarte at 88 the knicks actually a pretty mediocre quickly 98 then you got divincenzo and archie diacono both 80 plus and nobody else is even that good Pains me to see Jalen Brunson here. This is how you know I didn't rig it. Rui Hachimura, 98 overall. And then you got LeBron, who luckily enough was the first person that landed on his own overall. So he just didn't change at all. Max Christie, also a 91 in that form of that video I made a few years ago. And then uh, that's really it. Gary Harris, 98 overall. Chumo Kiki, 90. And then the Magic. Derek Jones Jr., by the way, power forward slash center, six foot six. Derek Jones Jr. Thinks, thinks he's Dennis Rodman, 98 overall. Then you got Joe Weiskamp, the same. Grant Williams, a 94. Greg Brown, an 89 and so on and so forth. Royce O'Neal, 94. Ben Simmons up to an 87. Darius Baisley, Derek Whitehead, and a few more 80s on this Nets team. Justin Holiday, Peyton Watson, and Jay Huff, all 95 plus for the Nuggets. Also, by the way, yes, he's a two-way player. Some of these two-way guys probably won't end up playing much this season, but you know, I don't even know if I could change it. Probably can. But screw it. That's the contract you signed. You'll have to thug it out. Uh, Jokic down to a 75. He'll probably still be kind of impactful. Miles Turner, another 99. And you got Daniel Tice, Obi Toppin. Daniel Tice, more notably, is a 98 as well, though. Herb Jones, 90. 94, Najee Marshall, 93, Valanchunas at 88, Joe Harris, 94, Sar Thompson up to a 92. I'm not gonna lie, I was doing it and I thought my mic was on and then I realized my mic was off when I was on like the Kings and I just stopped the recording said, screw it, I'll just go over it afterwards. So from there on, I kind of just did it like subconsciously. So seeing some of these is gonna actually surprise me now. Bagley up to a 90 back in prime, uh, where, where did he, Duke, Duke form?
him, right? Yeah. Monte Morris. Boucher up to a 97. Jakob Pertl, like the game, 93. Ron Harper Jr. Is this actually Ron Harper's son? I think it is, right? I think I, I feel like I researched this once upon a time. I don't know. Probably. My guy OG in 86 and Pascal. He's going to be around. Jesus, my God, the Rockets got lucky. Look at how many 80s they have. Although Asar is, or Eamon Thompson is still down here to 79, which is still better than his normal overall. Cam Whitmore, 97. Boban, 96. Jay Sean Tate, 95. Sengun, 93. Dylan Brooks, 92. KPJ, 88. Jeff Green, 85. Charles Bassey, 95 for the Spurs. Victor went down to a 76 from an 84, but he'll still have his potential probably. Wayne Wright's a 95. Kamara, Amara, uh, Kamara, Tumani. Yeah, sure. 88. Azubuki. They're pretty mediocre. And KD went down really bad. Yeah, 46. Jalen Williams, Lou Dort, and Usman Jiang, and Jack White are all 95 plus for this Thunder team. Then you got Jeremiah Robinson, Earl, and Case and Wallace, both 90 plus. And Poku at 89. Shea at 85 still as well to give you some impact off the bench, probably. Luca Garza at 99 for the Timberwolves, but he's also a two way player. Edwards stood about the same. Mediocre. Moses Brown went up to a 98. John Butler at 92. Jeremy Grant at 86. And I think they put Dame out of his misery. He's down here at a 52. Devon Looney up to a 93. Wiggins and Trace Jackson Davis also 90s. Lester Canonas 85. Sarich 81. I was playing a game with the Warriors on play now a few days ago, and I mean, Sarich is a great floor spacer. And then uh, Gallinari, 97. Shaman, 89. Umari, 87. Eugene, more, more uh, precisely. And that's it. Here's the league. Here's the players that I just went over 3.7 seconds ago. That's how the teams are right now. Now, there is free agency. There's no salary cap. I put in the auto-generated draft class. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Oh, lastly, I didn't adjust any tendencies as of right now, so some of these guys that got much better might have trash tendencies. I just want to let it rock like this for a year, and I think a year from now, if they, let's say, I go back to literally Chris Livingston, if he doesn't have higher than a 40 shot tendency, I'm going to edit all of the good players to higher shot tendencies, because I actually want to jump into these games and see these guys kind of cook. So yeah, that's really it. I did this a few years ago, but I haven't done it in a long time, and yeah. John Morant wins MVP, Mr. 99 overall with 39, 6, and 10 a game. Asar Thompson, Rookie of the Year, 22, 7, and 7 a game, Mr. 93 overall. Taylor Horton Tucker, 6th man of the year. Miles Turner, DPOI. Taylor Horton Tucker, most improved. 96 overall man himself. And Russell Westbrook, Clutch Player of the Year, 29, 9, and 10 a game. Mark N Dagnall, whatever the hell, 71 wins. OKC, that team got extremely lucky. Or well, they were one of the few. First team, John Morant, Russell Westbrook, Derek Rose, Emmanuel Quickly, and Joel Embiid. What a beautiful team. Second team, Gallinari, Moses Brown, Quentin Jackson, Joe Weiskamp, and Jimmy Butler. And the third team, LeBron, Bones Highland, Taylor Horton Tucker, Delano Banton, and Asar Thompson. Defensive first team, there you go. Second team, rookie team, bada bing, bada boom. This man, Chris Livingston's a demigod. See, I'm probably going to edit him. Let's see, actually. His shot tendency is still a 40. I'm going to see if it edits uh, during the offseason if it updates. I mean, if it, it progresses. Victor did not make an all-rookie team. Anyways, we're not worried about him, though. This is, Sim's not about him. We got him out of here, at least for now. And yeah, I didn't care about no play-in games. You know me. The leading scorers this season were, unsurprisingly, John Morant, 39 points. Quickly, 32. MB 30, 32. Then Shea and Westbrook rebounds. 13 for Moses Brown. Then you got Kevon Looney, Tristan Thompson, Gallinari, and Jonas Valanciunas. Assist was also Jal, then Lowry, Westbrook, Colby Jones, and uh, Ty Jerome. Steals with Jimmy Butler. Blocks with Miles Turner, unsurprisingly. Robert Williams, 72% from the field. 49% from three from Furcon Korkmaz. Hello, Mac McClung. For standings, uh, looks pretty like normal NBA stuff. Oh, Portland's terrible. Yeah, they're, so they're starting like they got Keon Johnson, 66 overall at the one. Moses Brown probably averaged. I mean, he had good stats. He actually played pretty well. Why was he shooting threes, though? I guess it doesn't really matter. He could probably shoot threes now, as is. And the Spurs were also terrible. Victor's benched behind Charles Bassey, so he doesn't get much play. Bull Bull, starting center for the Suns. They were terrible. Well, I might focus on the terrible team. Grizzlies, also really good with Derrick Rose with a two next to Ja. This lineup is insane. Shea is still starting at the one for the Thunder, and they're incredible. Heat, 63 wins with Josh Richardson at the two. He's the only lower than 80 overall in here. Screwed first round. Will be, there be any close games here? Nets get swept. Rockets get swept. Honestly, I don't really care what teams lose. I'm just trying to see good basketball. Well, whatever this would be considered. Cavs versus Pistons. Why not? It's a game seven. I rock with game seven. Shot to game seven. Damn, wasn't close enough to jump into a six point game. Max Schuess tried to save his team, but the star is moving on. And the Grizzlies and Clippers are in a game seven. Grizzlies smoked the hell out of them. Well, no games from the first round. No games? Oh, snap. Miami, Milwaukee. What we've all been waiting for. And they weren't waiting for me to jump in because they won by nine. Milwaukee. Chris Livingston, 24, 16, and eight. Look at you, buddy. Conference finals. Philadelphia versus Milwaukee. Drew versus 98 overall Tyrese Maxey. Malik Beasley versus Kelly Oubre. Danny Green versus Chris Livingston. Thanasis versus Montrez. And Bobby Portis versus Joel. All insane overalls. Almost all of them, except for Drew. Uh, 
78 overall Dante XM against Shea. How the hell did the Mavericks make it? I mean, they have good overall players, sure. They're confusing me. Anyways, 78 overall Dante XM and 81 overall Josh Green. The only outliers here. Everybody else is insanely good. And the Mavs are actually up in the series currently. Oh, Sixers got the Bucks out of here. And it's a game seven between OKC and Dallas. And yeah, in case, in case it wasn't obvious enough by like him not being up here, Luka's overall got smoked. Screw it. Let's see how weird this game is. Two minutes to go, one point game. Grant Williams passing the ball to uh, Josh Green, I guess. Shoot. Someone. Thank you. My God. Did you, uh, is that Wise Camp in the corner? It kind of looked like Tyler Hero. Pass back out. XM to Williams. Hands it off to Green. Looks like no one's got the dog. 13 seconds to go on the shot clock. Green will go left. Green will drop the ball. And he gets it back. And someone's open in the corner. It is Derek Jones Jr. for three. That is good. Four point lead for the Mavericks. Shea's trying to cook. If I had to guess, he'd probably still have some of the most dog on this team just because he has the tendencies to have the dog. Pass over to Usman Jiang. And someone's getting the screen. That's Jack White for three and that is all his three is probably a 99 so that's kind of disrespectful to his own self josh green trying to run the offense screen by grant williams and he'll pass it down to grant and it's stolen by the thunder thunder get another chance shay back up the other way shay to the basket the spin the layup is off rebound by exum dante to green green goes to the post back out screen by grant green left whoa where is he going i don't know why is he running point guard he's only like an 81 jeremiah robinson arrow pass down to jack white another miss he gets it back he's gonna go up with the hook and that is good two point lead for the Mavs with 48 seconds to go pass into Kyrie Kyrie gets screen he's going right he stops and he gets stolen by wait why is Kyrie in the game Kyrie is a 53 oh uh I guess because Greg Brown fouled out I don't know there, there, there should be no rational reason to Kyrie Irving being in this basketball game Grant got it Grant over to Wise can't back out the hard way back out to Kyrie can Kyrie get a bucket at a 58 Kyrie trying to go and he gets the layup and misses the layup as you'd expect look at him trying to run back he is moving in quicksand this is going to be normal speed right watch how slow Kyrie Irving right 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 next to Casey Wallace actually matter of fact Casey Wallace behind him watch it how slow low he is to get up this floor jesus christ 38 speed by the way he finally gets back to shay wallace gonna set up shay in the post they're, they're abusing Kyrie, and shay layup is good the ball knew where it had to go Kyrie with the screen why does Kyrie have this basketball right now he's gonna pull it and hit it Kyrie irving he still has the clutch gene he's a 58 overall or something like that and Kyrie irving might have just sent his team to the finals he has a 38 three-point shot a 38 one more time a 38 his three-point shot is lower than udonis haslam's age well anything from the thunder here corner lou dort with room and he will miss not enough room dante exum hoists up the the conference mvp or whatever the hell conference finals West Western, yeah, something. The NBA Finals, Sixers and Mavericks. I don't see a world where, by the way, yes, six foot six Derek Jones Jr. guarding Joel Embiid. Uh, I don't see a world in how the hell the Sixers don't win this. Funny because they were the first team I had to random generate and they're now just running away with this. Mavs are going to win game one. They just keep on proving me wrong. Nope, there goes, there goes Philly. 32 for Maxi, 31 from Embiid. Two point game, 136 to go. Philly's down and they've got the ball. Pat Bev passes down to Embiid and Embiid bead the wow just got and greg brown fouls out brown just hacks the hell out of joel and joel goes to the line and hits both shoot maybe it was clean i don't know wise camp trying to cook but Ubre right there probably with great defensive stats now wise camp with the dunk puts Ubre on the ground joe wise camp yeah we are in a league all right joel and bead running point guard matter of fact stop yeah i need i need to see this real quick and joe wise camp really was cooking man hold on hold on hold on joe Hold on, Joe. Yeah. Grant Williams now, another undersized defender guarding Embiid. And Embiid is hitting all the size ups. Remember, this is normal Embiid. This is just completely normal Joel Embiid. If anything, he's a little bit worse. Tyrese Maxey will pass it down to Joel. Joel will step through, take a layup, and hit it like Grant's not even there. Tied game, 56 seconds to go. Wise can't back up the other way. Joe putting the city on his back of Dallas. The new Luka. The new Dirk. Forget both of them. It's Joe season. Screen off ball for Grant. Grant Williams now comes set one from X. Exum. Exum will go right. He'll spin. Okay. Step back. Shoot the shot from 40 feet out. And hand it off to Danny Green. Green between the legs. Hands it off to Maxi. Embiid got it now. Embiid the half spin. Embiid the hook. And that is good to take a two point lead. Wise Camp's got it. The, the, the city on his back. Kyrie's not in the game. So, you know, he's, he's got no help. Nine seconds to go. Eight seconds. Seven seconds. Wise Camp with the layup. And one. 
and Joe Weiss. <laughs> this might be the best player we've seen yet in any simulation on this game. Joe Weiss camp. The layup is good. It's his world and we're just living in it. I don't even know how he hit that Michael Jordan shot. Joe Weiss camp, his team up and they could go up 2-1 with a stop right here. Danny Green, the pass into Tyrese Maxey. Maxey, three seconds ago. Maxey's going to take it for himself. Pull up and that is off. Weiss camp the board and it is over. Joe Weiss camp. Joe Weiss camp, one of the best just breakout games that this channel has ever seen from a player ever. This man, Joe went left. Hold on. Foul right there. Somehow from this angle, look at him. Just full confidence too. He knows this shot is going in. Kelly Oubre can do nothing to stop him. Joe off glass. Hold on. With, with the angle too. Oh yeah. 2-1 lead for Dallas. Imagine you attended this game and saw that shot. Yeah, 28, 8, and 9. Teammates played great as well. Sixers are going crazy. Oh my God. Sixers are putting them in a coffin. Mavs had a okay, good second half. Not really. Didn't matter though. Did not matter. Joe tried. Shoot, Joe tried. Tied 2-2. Sixers, another win. Joe is trying to fight. He's fighting for his life. 142 to go. Mavs down 3-2. Sixers could end it right here. And B guarded by Greg Brown. Is Joe in the game? He should be, right? Yeah, Joe's in the corner guarding Tyrese Maxey. Pass down and wow, I definitely thought that was a steal. What the hell? Look at this. No, Greg, you can't allow that. Greg, you just took the ball off your forehead. This man, Greg, put his hands up and then just looks at the ball above. This is just disrespectful. Lock in, Greg. Lock in. And then elbows you in the head as he just takes it up. Yeah, me personally, Greg, I am, shoot, I'm not playing. Not playing basketball. Pass down. Oh, Grant's got the lane. Grant, layup and one. Montrez Howard got it from the wing. Hold on, Montrez. Show him the bag. Don't do it to him now. Tyrese going nowhere. Oh, snap. He's got nothing. Tyrese, the step back. Pass off to NBA. Up the bailout, of course, and Embiid wide open because they don't have a player taller than 6'7. Josh Green back up the other way. Just hand it to Joe, dog. Man, Joe has the dog. Josh Green, the screen from Derek Jones and the pass down. Jerry, Derek Jones, you got to dunk it. We know what you can do. Okay, sure. Miss dunks. That works. That's fine. Oh my God. Tyrese putting on a show on the fast break. I actually read something that he's one of the best fast break players in the league and three point shooters. I think he was number one in three point percentage or something like that. He was up there. Josh Green going absolutely nowhere. He's about to force up some guard. Garbage. I knew it. He lost the ball. And the Sixers is about to get fouled with 27 seconds. Unless Pat Bev goes up with a shot. Back out. Montrez, pump fake. I knew it. They were trying to foul that whole time. And Montrez is about to green both of these because they're rolling up by 20,000. So his free throw is going to be up high. Yep. Philly's about to win the NBA Finals. I got to stick around because there's way too many 99 overalls for there not to be a chance of their hitting hitting a four-point play. Joe Wisecamp, this is just the first part of your story, buddy. You got to come back and seek vengeance. Josh Green about to put up some garbage again. Oh my God. Where are you going? Going. Oh, okay. He did put up some garbage, but it went in. And Joe Wise can't foul out. This is over with. Don't even show me this. It's over. Six is win the ring. Who is finals MVP? That's a good question. Joel Embiid finals MVP. Okay. Makes sense. LeBron retired. Chris Paul retired. Dang, a lot of people retired. They all... Steph retired? Oh, yeah. I didn't make him trash. I mean, he's an 80. Those three made the Hall of Fame. Oh, I just skipped through the draft lottery. And I mean, it's just auto-generated. Who cares? Mauricio Gonzalez, number one overall to the Nuggets. He's an 83. The new Jokic. Free agency is... Uh, um, a bit insane. Now, once again, salary cap is off, so there should be no excuse. We'll see what happens. Day four. Okay, a lot of the guys are gone now. Russ worked to the Jazz. It, the whole league is going to be shook up, let's be honest. There's no point in trying to track all this stuff, but screwed. I'm scrolling down if you want to see anything. I saw Bobon went to the Heat. Dennis Smith Jr. went to the Heat or some Drew Smith. Yeah. Rainy Lakino to the Thunder. That's nice. Good for you. Anyways, player progression. And I want to go back to that same one player I was talking about on the Bucks. Chris Livingston. Did his shot tendency go up from year to year? No, I'm editing it. It might seem a little bit crazy, but screw it. I'm just, I'm just going to uh, put everybody's up. Why not? If you're a dog, you're a dog. If you're not, you're not. Simple as that. Oh, Danny Green's old. Oh, yeah. Some players are old, too. And, like, some players, like, maybe Victor might have still got better anyways. Yeah, Victor went up by five. Screw it. I'll put in the 2024 draft class. Let me just do a quick gander and see if there's any, like, very overpowered teams. Okay, well, this is one. Yeah, Bucks got a lot going on. Any teams get screwed over, too? Oh, my God. The Grizzlies have the world on their team. So does Miami. Just everybody. Oh, the Magic aren't very good. The Rockets still got even more talent and kept who they had. They have finals appearance guy, Derek Jones Jr. now. And Montrez, who was also in the finals in the Sixers. He went back to Houston. Oh, Joe Weiskamp leads the Spurs now. I mean, they probably won't get too far, but we enjoyed your time. My God, Oklahoma City. Yeah, Frank might win a championship. Look at this team. And he's going to be starting too. Luca Garza back in Minnesota, except he's not on a two-way this season. Taylor Horton Tucker, the new Steph Curry and Landry. You know, I'm really pondering it right now. It's really hitting my 
thought process my frontal lobe that I didn't look at the all-stars last year. I definitely skipped it on accident. Now, with that being said, now I'm here. We're here. Look at that. Look at us. Here's the all-stars. It's it's not really that crazy. Yo, Wise Camp, though, first pick in the all-star draft. Hello, Russell Westbrook. How are you? Where's Sean Morant? Oh, he's right there. He's on the bench, though. Joe Wise Camp, number one in the MVP race. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, what is good with him? Whatever you do, just always draft Joe, Joe Wise Camp. He's a dog. Who the hell is Bradford? Joe Wise Camp, MVP. Mauricio Gonzalez, rookie of the year. Ricky Rubio, six man. Miles Turner, DPOY. Anthony Black, most improved. Joe Wise Camp, clutch player. Mark Dagnall, coach of the year. First team, Wise Camp, Chris Livingston, Russell Westbrook, Jordan Walsh, and Taylor Horton Tucker. Second team, Bones Highland, Ja, Quentin Jackson, David Roddy, and Justin Holiday. And the third team, Delano Banton, Asar Thompson, Chris Dunn, Darius Baisley, and Rui. Here's the defensive first and defensive second. Rookie first and rookie second. Give me like that playing game. We don't care. Okay, so all the points were way more balanced since everyone was shooting a lot. Joe Wisecamp was number one, then Roddy, Brown, Harris, and Maxi of rebounds was Rui, then Tristan Thompson, Richards, Wisecamp, and Luca Garza. And assists was Westbrook, Ja, Wisecamp, Quentin Jackson, and Ricky Rubio. So Joe Wisecamp, top five in all categories, if not top three, actually. Oh, no, it was four in rebounds. So good percentage was Moses Brown at 71, and three point was Derrick Rose at 48%. Emmy God. All right, screw everybody that gets eliminated. I only care about game sevens. Screw all of you. And looks like I got one right here. Milwaukee and Philadelphia. The reigning champions at that. Shouldn't say it too lightly. Philly will win this, though. Mm, Warriors and Kings and Memphis and Utah, both in a game seven as well. Memphis has Ja and D. Rose. That'd be a pretty interesting team to see at some point in this. And it won't be now. They did win, though. They 24 and 10 from Rose. Oh, they beat Westbrook. Yeah. I'm assuming Andrew Wiggins is still on the Warriors and his team just won this one over the Kings. So they advance. Damn, I could have jumped to this game seven. Oh, it was a blowout though. Thunder going to the conference finals. So Cleveland versus Miami. It's actually the one versus three and the one versus two seed in each conference. So one versus two. Chris Dunn versus Ty Jerome. Quentin Jackson versus Malik Beasley. Jimmy Butler versus Justin Holiday. Jaime Haquez versus Evan Mobley. And Boban versus Moses Brown. Then OKC Memphis. You got Ja versus Frank. Max Christie versus Gary Harris. David Roddy versus Lou Dort. That's a absolute bruiser matchup. Greg Brown versus Jack White and Kenny Lofton against Jalen Williams. And it is 3-0 Thunder. 3-1 Miami. Miami and OKC are both getting advanced. Gary Harris and Quentin Jackson, the conference MVPs. And screw, we just went over the team. Let's just go. Oh yeah, this one's over. Sadly, the Thunder got it. I, I got close enough to a second. I was like, do I jump in when it's only a six-point game? And Frank had 29-14-9. Thunder, another win by 20. Frank Neal Aquino, 13 assists. That's all that matters. Really sharing the sugar. Thunder up 3-0. And that's it. Thunder smoke them. Finals. Gary Harris, finals MVP. I feel like I didn't see a stat line once, but anyways, sadly, no games at all this season. Screw it. Honestly, I'm about to just spawn right back to the playoffs in that case. Joe Weisskamp, all-star captain. So is Chris Livingston. Usman Jiang, one-time all-star. Jay Sean Tate, Asar Thompson, Nashawn Bones, Highland, and Jalen Williams is a starter. Jalen Horton Tucker wins MVP. Bronny James, rookie of the year. Derek Jones Jr., six men. Herb Jones, DPOI. John Blunt, most improved. Joe Weisskamp, clutch player. JB Bickerstaff, coach of the year. For them Cavs, 70 wins, for 21 wins from them Cavs. DHC, Joe, Ty Jerome, Chris Livingston, and Ja, all NBA first. Bones Highland, Ricky Rubio, Moses Brown, Asar Thompson, and quickly second. Westbrook, Cam Whitmore, Jordan Walsh, Chuma, and Peyton Watson, third team. Here's the defensive team and the defensive first. Da, 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 da. Joe Wise Camp led the league, 26 points per game. The Moses Brown, Nashawn Bones Highland, THT, and Ja. Assist. Rebounds was Richards, assists was Ja, Rubio, Westbrook, all 10 plus. 71% from the field from Moses Brown, 49, 50% from this dude, Gilliard. Buddy, 5'9. And the Knicks out here, Spurs, Wizards, Nuggets, Grizzlies. Game seven, Bucks and Raptors, round one. Bucks win it by 21 points. And the Warriors have got the hell up and out of here. MVP THT and the 1C Warriors, Pack Watch. OKC and Houston, round two matchup there in game seven. Am I going to get screwed over again with no, no game? No game? Game seven again. Milwaukee and Cleveland. You know how it is in Cleveland. They got people there. And of course, they got really good basketball playing people that want to outscore the Bucks by 13 in the fourth and not let me watch the game. We got the same exact matchup, Cavs versus Miami again, and then Sacramento versus Houston. Shoot, you got these guys. And the only reason I'm saying this is because I really just want to watch these stupid, it's a bunch of random players, right? And I want to watch them play dumb basketball games like Joe Wisecamp, you know? I, did, I wasn't reading off his name on the play now sheet like, oh snap, is that Joe Wisecamp? No, but now, I okay, no, nobody went to game seven in that. Send Goon and Moses Brown conference MVPs. And here's the finals matchup. Hello, LeBron. Not really. He's just on the thing on the top right. It just saw him. Kyle Lowry, Malik Beasley, Justin Holiday, Chris Boucher, and Moses Brown against Alperin Sengun.
soon ish. Wayne Wright, Cam Whitmore, Dylan Brooks, and KPJ. And the Cavs just dropped 168 points in game one. Chris Boucher had 40. Rockets do almost the exact same thing in game two. Derek Jones, 23 and 9. The thought of gameplay was promising there for a second, but the game was over. 2011 and 7 from Wayne Wright. Don't even know if he won. Don't even know what team he's on. It is a competitive series, though. Cavs take another game. Oh, actually, it's 3 1 now. Oh, boy. My eyes are lighting up at this one. 112, 110. Rockets are up. Cavs could come back and win the NBA Finals. Shout out to LeBron. But if not, well, uh, yeah, I don't know. Basketball. Derek Jones Jr. passing in the ball. A lot, but into KPJ in the backcourt. Kevin Porter Jr. goes left. Clamped up by Malik Beasley and his former Cavs team. Dribbles it out. Spins to the basket. Steps back. Back out to Wainwright for three. And that is good. They take a five point lead. 134 to go. Malik Beasley. Also, why is Moses Brown still a fake person? Why does he still. He's been in the league for like four years. Wainwright again. Oh, he's got the lane, the tween, the basket, the layup. That's all. Rebound by Boucher. And the stop by Boucher. He's dribbling it up. He's going to hand it down to Beasley. Beasley with some room for mid range. He's trying to go to the basket. The defense is too good. He'll hand it back out and back to Beasley again. Beasley now going to drive to the basket and get fouled. Malik, the first one at the line, is good. And Malik, the second one at the line, should also be good. I mean, come on now. Let's not be stupid here. He's got a 99 free throw. Johnny Juzang in the game. I don't even know what the hell overall he is. I just remember him from college. Johnny goes left and gets what? Moses Brown 100% smothered. Just dunked it in. This big babbling idiot. My bad, Moses. Moses Brown with the most obvious stupid block of all time. Just dunks the ball into the basket. A complete Blake Griffin dunk. We've seen this story 20 times over. Why would you do this? Why the hell would you do this? Let me see where like the trajectory of the ball was real quick. He might have still hit it, but no, probably not. Maybe, probably not. I mean, Moses just, just got rid of the question, though. Put the ball in the rim to make it a five-point advantage for Houston. Malik Beasley is trying his best, let's just say. And that's all. The pass up. And that man, Johnny Juzing, has the lane to himself. Layup. What a weak body layup. You don't go up there and dunk it. Sorry. 36 seconds to go. Malik Beasley doing absolutely nothing. Screen on the right side. I'm, it's over, dog. Why am I still here? And, man, we could see the Rockets come back from down 3-1. Shout out to LeBron again. It is 154 left in this game. And the Rockets, they are down by four. Or actually, wait who's up again and they update the little thing cleveland leads 3-2 yeah so they would have to come back down by four right now i mean it'd be interesting kpg steps back midi is off rebound by boucher beasley into the post beasley goes baseline nearly stepped out of bounds you would have thought he did step out of bounds beasley layup and one. Oh my that was kind of tough turn back over the other shoulder and one malik beasley makes it a six point game we don't give the chick the, the rockets their chance but that's probably it kpj back out asar thompson aim and Tom what, which one yeah thompson sure for three it's a men thompson brown will go into the post get back out of it pass it over to lowry for three and that is all i mean they still got a shot send goon back up the other way apj pulls up midi it's he's fouled he didn't even hit both free throws yeah you guys aren't serious yep the Cavs are gonna be nba champions moses brown most valuable player of the finals kevin durant retired rightfully so probably got he got the rest of his contract and dip there is a lot more 99s than there were when we started this i think it was like six now there's like 60 yeah, just about Frank's a 98. Muhammad, Jay Huff, Taylor Hendricks, Peyton Watson. Ty Jerome wins MVP. Jared McCain, Rookie of the Year. Derek Jones, six man. Ty Jerome, DPOI. Joe Manis, most improved clutch player. Joe Wisecamp. Oh, I didn't even check Coach of the Year. Screw it. Here's the All-NBA first. Ty Jerome, Asar Thompson, Chris Livingston, Taylor Horn Tucker, Joe Wisecamp. Second team, Quickly, Watson, Jordan Walsh, Ja, and Kenny Lofton. Third team, Banton, Westbrook, Cam Whitmore, Luca Garza, and Ricky Rubio. And defensive first, Ty Jerome quickly, Livingston, Hendricks, and Ben. Defensive second, Herb Jones, Asar Thompson, John Butler, Jordan Walsh, and Miles Turner. Why did I just, you know what? I'm not even gonna question it. This season, Asar led in scoring. Livingston, Ty Jerome, Taylor Horton, and Malik Beasley after him. Ty Jerome led in rebounds, six foot five point guard, 12 and a half rebounds. Assist was also Ty Jerome. Steals was DiVincenzo tied with Thompson. Blocks was Alexander Saar, who's a 78. Moses Brown in field goals, Herb Jones, 48% from three. Milwaukee and Toronto in a game game seven crazily enough it's actually a close game Kelly Oubre hits a three to make it a two-point lead for the Raptors Ben Simmons back up the other way Ben Simmons the screen he'll pump fake he can actually shoot again I guess right wait hold on again I mean again it's kind of far-fetched but oh no he can't he can't actually I mean, he's got a 73 three-point shot that's not bad Marjan is gonna have to pull the mid-range shot that is off rebound by Precious Precious for three that's good that makes it a five-point lead second round Kings are out of here Raptors are out of here Rockets are out of here and six is out of here, Dan. That was seven. Oh, it was a 40 point blowout. Yeah. Conference finals. It's Miami versus the Cavs again. And Golden State against 
OKC, the one versus two see themselves. Frank Nielakina, 98 overall, carry in the league on his back. All the attendance, all due to him. Marvin Bagley with 35 in the Heat, win game seven. I don't even know if he was on the Heat, maybe. Taylor Horton, Tucker, and Drew spent the Warriors one. And in the finals, Golden State against the Heat. You got THT against Chris Dunn, Lester Canones against Drew Smith, Andrew Wiggins against Jay Sean Tate, Jack White against Marvin Bagley, and Robert Williams against Charles Bassey. The Heat have almost four 99s. Hell, they could have another one on the bench for all I know. Jack White passing the ball. Golden State up 1-0 and they're up by four right now. And it never Taylor Norton and Tucker with the with the charge. Ball changes to Miami's hands. Jimmy Butler in the game. He'll bring up the basketball. Jimmy guarded by Wiggins. Jimmy goes left and he'll step back. Pump fake. Go to the post. Back out to White. Or Smith, I mean. Screen by Butler for four Butler. Butler with the ball. Back out to Williams. Williams between the legs. Two seconds. One second to go. And Williams shot blocked. Rebounded by White. Terrible offensive possession by the Heat. White hands it off to Wiggins. Wiggins will go left. He'll stop. He'll get the screen from, from Jack. And Wiggins pulls up close shot. That is good. Six point lead for the Warriors. The Heat crowd silence. Jimmy Butler back up the other way. Jimmy crosses over back to the right. Jimmy gets stopped. He's going to go for the layup and he misses entirely. That was that smothered. Chris done with the basketball. Back over to Jimmy. Jimmy off the screen. Pulls for three and that is good. Cuts it to the three with 48 to go. Wiggins goes left. Steps back. Pulls up. Close shot. It's off. And Daniel Tice with the rebound and the putback to bring it back up to five points on the lead. Jimmy Butler with the timeout. They need to talk. Passing to Smith. Back to Jimmy. Jimmy goes right. He could step back. Pump fake. Uh, hands it off. Williams mid-range. That's off. Rebound by THC. And that is it. Warriors will go up 2-0 on the 99 overall. Demi God squad. Heat win a game. High me with 27. Daniel Tice at 39 a loss. Heat another win. 130-123. Heat win again. Third straight. 40 point win by the Warriors. It tied up for seven. Game seven. Back in Miami. And this is a four point Warriors lead with two minutes to go. Heat have the basketball too. Down by four once again. Just to reiterate myself. Not really reiterate just repeat Chris Dunn guarded by Wiggins Dunn down to Jay Sean Jay Sean in the post he's bodying up he'll take the hook and that is good THC goes right all the way layup blocked by Jaime Daniel Tice passing back out to THC again Taylor will pull up the close shot and that is good four point lead for the Warriors Jimmy the screen by Jaime on the right side he's got some room going all the way back out to Jaquez for three he's fouled plus the bucket and one for Jaquez Jr. He'll go to the line the free throw is good and it is now tied 123 123 a four point play changes the direction of the game Taylor will go left around the screen pass down white re or layup I should say is good Jimmy goes left bump spin Jimmy back out to Dunn Dunn goes left Dunn all the way nope back out Jay Sean Tate for three and that is all a huge three to would have taken the lead Taylor crossover Tucker bumping into him goes left blocked by Dunn Tate He's got the fast break. He's got numbers back to himself. Back out to Dunn. Dunn, the crossover. He wants to put the game in his own hands. Dunn, oh, back out to Jay Sean. Hands it off to Jaime. Jaquez now. Hands it back to Jay Sean. Jay Sean, four seconds. Jay Sean, fadeaway is good at the top of the key to tie the game up 125, 125. 15 seconds to go. Taylor, eight seconds now. Seven seconds. He'll get the screen from Tice. Taylor goes right. Three seconds. Hands it down to Daniel Tyson. It is stolen with a second and a half to go. Jaime Jaquez with the big defensive play. That could have been game right there. Jimmy will pass the ball into Jaime from downtown, and it is off. They are going to OT. I'm going to let this one rock. I was about to say before I started simcasting, I'm going to let this one rock with like three minutes to go, and here you go, three minutes to go. They've only scored one bucket each. These two crackhead type of teams doing nothing with basketball. I mean, except for playing defense. Screen on the left, tailing between the... Oh, he gets fouled. Okay. What? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I have been watching Steve Kerr this entire time the the basketball game is going on i've been watching steve kerr this entire time no i saved the clip dog i was sitting there watching steve kerr for an entire shot clock never once did the camera pan back i don't even know what happened all right well at least nobody scored matter of fact replay it and and you know what i'm gonna replay it just to, you know i guess so originally this shot was the one that was end up taken by justin holiday never saw this no recollection this is why you can't jump into the games before two minutes it breaks i'm lying I, i've never once and then Jimmy just dribbled
scrambled out of bounds. So that's that's kind of what broke the sequence. Taylor Horton Tucker. Oh, nice little in and out. Nice little Hezzy goes left. Taylor fades away, and that's all. Jimmy Hezzy step back. Jimmy back to the right, trying to bully his way to the basket. Back out, done wide open for three, and he misses. All of these players with the souped up ratings of hell all the way up to 99s, half of them, yet not hitting a wide open shot. Taylor the spin, yet we can see Kyrie Irving just have dog and hit a shot with 38. And look at that. Jaime with another steal on the on the an entry pass to Daniel Tice. And he'll pass it down to Smith. Smith back out to Dunn. Dunn with some room. He'll go left and probably pass it down to Jimmy in the post. Jimmy in the post against Taylor. He will pump fake and force up a shot. That is good. Jimmy, Very Jimmy Butler-esque type of shot right there. 119 to go. Horton Tucker. The screen on the left by Tice. Taylor bumps and he goes to the post and he spins and back the other way. Taylor. Hey, he's been working. Hey, was it him earlier that had that M1? Or no, that was uh, that was Malik Beasley. That was a nice little move by him. Not really, but like, you know, he made the best of a situation, but it looked nice. Jimmy now trying to cook. Jimmy will go for his step back in the paint, and now he's stuck, and he's about to get a three second. Okay, they didn't call it. Back out to him. Five seconds to go. Jimmy goes left into the post again. He drop steps and puts up a layup. Jimmy Butler forcing his way into a two-point lead. Horton Tucker back up the other way. I won't lie, the gameplay looks much better when every player is an insanely good at defense, because that's what's happening right now. Yo, what is Taylor doing? Oh my god. Yeah, uh, we are in a society. That's what's happening right now. We Taylor Horton Tucker with the shot of the year. Look at this. Chris Dunn all up in his grill. Look at how far back he is on this shot. Now watch. I know it's gonna get rid of the cool filter, but Taylor goes left, bumps him, goes back out, shoots it with no hesitation from there with 14 seconds ago. You think he's Steph. And I mean, he is on the Warriors. He actually is the new Steph. The pass into Jimmy. Jimmy down by one. Oh, he's gonna get the lane off rip, pull it, and he misses. Jimmy Butler sells his team. They're gonna foul. It's honestly not even that bad of a foul considering it's only a three second shot clock differential. I mean, I know in real life you don't foul here, but you know. This old Wes Unsell looking dude going to the line. He'll hit the first. He really got the Wes Unsell cut. And both they're good. Heat's still down by three. Jimmy really sold the hell out of this. Jimmy, 19 seconds ago, he bumps off of Drew or Justin, I mean. Now he's going to spin and he'll take another tough layup to cut it to one. When you're playing this team, they're not going to miss a free throw. I doubt it, right? Taylor, right? Yeah. Second one, Taylor. Come on, don't shake up now. Thank you. Jay Sean, no more timeouts. Tate. Chris Dunn back up the other way. Chris Dunn pass it over to Jimmy. Jimmy pump fake back to Dunn. Dunn will pass it over to Jay Sean for three and that is good. Five and a half seconds ago this is pandemonium and easily except for the me i don't know i don't know if anything could ever top the joe wise the joe wise camp game might be the best game i've ever seen from a player individually passing to taylor taylor three seconds ago taylor i don't know though you might have your own game taylor layup he misses with the left it's contested but i mean we've been seeing a lot crazier stuff than that a second ot in miami let me not let this get too out of hand okay cool it's about to be a four point game if jack white hits both free throws you know screw it I'm, I'm cutting a little bit more off of this i feel like waiting for free throws all right cool Pass over to Dunn. Dunn. And it's stolen by Holiday with the four point deficit. Holiday with some vengeance, with some fire and desire. Hands it off to Tor Taylor Horton Tucker. Taylor, the screen on the right side. The, the, yeah, the, the whatever side. The left side, I guess. Depends on what your perspective is. Step back bucket. 147 to go. Jimmy backing down to the post. Jimmy back out to Smith. 133 to go. Smith over to Tate. Tate, the screen behind me. Tate pulls up a moving three, and that is out. In and out and in and out and in and out and out again. It really just toilet bowl. Taylor, the screen on the left side from White. Taylor to the basket. Pass down to White for the wide open breakaway runaway layup runway layup and it is tied again 146 146 with 105 to go the absolute fight of a game seven this one is for the history books jimmy will fake the step back pass it back out to chris dunn over to smith smith to the basket he'll take that shot and that is off the rebound by the warriors tailing the screen on the right side tailing to the basket he'll pass it down to tice tice has it and he's not going and he finally dunks it the screen for dunn behind me pass down to jimmy jimmy in the post against justin holiday he'll pass it back out to dunn done in the corner he jimmy might have had a layup there thank you definitely did jimmy around the basket back out wide open smith for three and that is off but jimmy butler with the offensive smith is open again he doesn't take it he could have taken the lead again he will instead go left and that's a good layup he will hit it 148 148 again 10 seconds to go tice will pass in the tail end. are we about to have a 3 ot game tail end. four seconds to go three seconds pass over and canones will fade away from three and that is it less 
Nestor Canones for three. Young West unsettled, and the Warriors have won the championship. Man, end this, end this. I don't care. I this is that that is insane. Taylor and Lester with two of the craziest shots. This is just a, a little bit of like a just a, a preview of what 2K24 simulation is about to be like. Look at this shot. This shot would never maybe ever be hit in most scenarios. That is insane. Jay Sean had 40. Drew Smith had 38 and 9. 29 from Jaime. Where is Jim? Jimmy only had 10. 41, 13, and 13 from Taylor Horta Tucker. One of the best game seven performances in life. And Lester with 21. That is it. Taylor finals MVP. That is it. Hey, shout out to Nate Thurman. It's been real. It's been fun. But it ain't been real fun. If you don't subscribe, you have the luck of 48 overall. Giannis Antetokounmpo. And I'll catch you around the neighborhood. Good.